On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a guan. A blessed and wonderful Monday morning to each and every person out there tuning into on the spot news media. Now, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So in the morning, I'm a peeps, I have a few stories to share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the Diaspora. So please like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in a Jamaica. So watch this now, my peeps, uh, to the name of Monday, a brand new work week for some of the regular ones and ones them out there. So I kick off this morning's set of story and I start it like this. Many men wish that upon me. Then I say a quick word from out of Romeo and Virgo when I'm latest song. I've been there before. Whole heap of fight we fight. But just remember the darkest part of the night is just before daylight pick from that what you mean and then we are gonna get right on into a scripture from the holy book and me know the regular ones and ones them i wonder where may i get at but just be patient when we understand further on in the news so this scripture you presently on your screen i come from Second Timothy chapter 4 and it reads in the presence of God and Jesus Christ who will judge the living and the dead and in view of his appearing in his kingdom I give you this charge preach the word be prepared in season and out of season. Correct, rebuke, and encourage with great patience and careful instruction. This is the part that I really want to pay attention to. For the time will come when people will not put up with a sound doctrine instead to suit their own desires they will gather around them a great number of teachers to say what their itching ears want to hear they will turn their ears away from the truth and turn aside to myths but you keep your head in all situations endure hardships do the work of an evangelist discharge all duties of your ministry and for those who did not watch yesterday's vlog watch it but also go in the comment section and see all the stuff that is there then you will understand why i just said what i said and the scripture that was given to me this morning so now to all my haters I do understand where you stand and why you are how you are. The good book clearly stated, 
for the time will come when people will not put up with sound doctrine instead to suit their own desires they will gather around them a great number of teachers which is your criminal element friends whether a member of john public or an artist to say what your itching ears want to hear they will turn their ears away from the truth and turn aside to myth so i get it i understand why you are how you are and as my grandmother always tell me say you know you see once you do it right you are going most definitely get a fight and that in the truest sense of that saying so the mother twist it for suit on a criminal ways to feel like say uno i get a fight in our criminality uno should and must and will continue to get a fight in that criminal lifestyle for some reason you know uno feel like say and the spot news media is a little soft soap para little weak fence we want to can jump down pan i received all the threats i'm not talking about the ones in the comment section or everybody see I'm talking about the ones in the dms in the emails i received all of them i chose not to respond to any but i received them but i'm making this categorically clear to anyone who wishes to come after on the spot news media's life be he or she also prepared to lose his or hers i've said this in many vlogs before that violence as its place because everything under the sun have a purpose and also violence have its purpose so if you're going to come for me be prepared to die also just letting you know because on the spot news media is not a easy walk over so whenever when you decide for come just make sure so no come well good because i will be ready and waiting but me no really easily fazed by your threats have been on youtube since january of 2020 have gotten many way before the ones yesterday so I guess which part one day had the back of the line on half a ketchup <laughs> yeah man say no way make we continue me see that yesterday's vlog hurt no heart really bad anytime any one of the like-minded vloggers speak about my favorite artists it hurt to no heart more than if me did speak about the mother or father or on a sister and brother because we are so shallow minded as a people but one of our other favorite artists did clearly state it and sad to say truer words have never been spoken from his mouth you all are a bunch of sheep easily led hence the reason why you are how you are and stuck in the maze of negativity and immorality and everything under the sun that is unrighteous and bad so that thumbnail on yesterday's vlog was rather a very provocative one but i did that to prove to everyone 
even to the sheeps. How sheeply you are. And how influential these dancehall artists actually are. And the amount of power that they have over their flock. And as the sheeps that you are, you played right into it. Because listening the vlog, I only stated the facts that Mobi artists are some of the most destructive set of people. And records are there to prove that. I made mention of Maledan. One person states that Maledan is not even from Montego Bay. So what that have to do with anything? Where's Vibes Cartel from? Montego Bay? Don't answer that. My point exactly. I was just showing the destructive nature of these artists. And all of the sheep them flock mm -hmm. as expected. Now Jamaica and Jamaicans, I hope on a sifu on a self, the type of people that we have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Because these people are some of the very ones that claim to say them hate crime, but them love the criminals. On a need for make up on a mind and pick a side and stay upon it. Obviously, some have chosen their sides, but many don't even know say them love the very thing where them claim to say them hate. So I go got much further still. I got cut it right here so. But yesterday's vlog most definitely spoke quite loudly in the silence of it. So anyway, I could get on into this morning's set of stories. So we're gonna kick it off this morning here with some international news. Now, for those who have been tuning into On The Spot News Media for quite some time, would have seen where I covered several vlogs about happenings in the general Flower Hill community in St. James. Whole heap of people end up losing them three pints. And you would have also remembered that I featured this criminal element here presently on your screen, identified as Kemar Jarrett but more popularly known as Crappy, as one of the most influential top tier member in the gangs that is at odds with each other in the general Flower Hill community that has claimed the lives of many to include two little schoolboys. Don't ever forget that. May the good Lord continue to rest their soul in peace. Now, as I stated in those vlogs, that Scrappy is among you in the diaspora. Now, Scrappy is still there among you in the diaspora, but he is behind bars in the diaspora. As I've always stated to you, know, my peeps, that Kana boy a yard, Kana boy abroad. Yeah, man. Now, the 4th Bend County Sheriff's Office in Texas last week arrested and charged Kemar Jarrett with the offense of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Now, he is also in an immigration detention center because, as we all know, how he entered in the United States of America. Now, this criminal element ran foul of the law in Jamaica, take away himself, 
reach in America and use the firearm to assault a female. Unconfirmed reports suggest that it is a female that he was involved with. And she called the cops. The cops came in and nabbed him. Now he's presently behind bars for that. As my granny would have said, you know, long run, short catch. You never know, say, Uncle Sam, who the whole amp you like that. So right now, Scrappy is off the streets. So I hope that with him being taken off the streets by security forces in the United States of America, that will somehow stem what is happening in Jamaica, in Flower Hill. And I hope that the Jamaican authorities makes contact with the United States authorities in Fort Bend County in Texas. Let me repeat that so they can hear it. And make arrangements after him doing time in America be sent to Jamaica for fierce criminal charges of the massacres in the Flower Hill community yeah man and still in the international segment who remember the vlog that i covered the other day about the multi-agency team that disrupted a major gun and drug trafficking operation in a new york vessel that was being run from a food truck yeah man and the police listed about 30 persons that was arrested in that major white lady and firearms ring. Now the police stated that it was a six month long collaboration and nearly 40 law enforcement agencies combined and that resulted in the dismantling of the alleged largest known gun trafficking and the illicit white drug ring in Orange County in New York. Now it is also alleged that the farmer reputed Dan for the Klansman faction will come from over banks in a Spanish town, termite. The woman that was seen in the wedding ceremony with termite is also among the 30 that was arrested and charged in the food truck gun runnings. Yeah, man. Now on your screen is Lara McLaren Bailey. It is said that she was the woman that got married to the reputed gang leader, Termite. Now, can you imagine that? May I wonder if the ones and ones them are put one and one together and make it into 11. Because the one and one yeah, don't even make two. Literally, everything start falling into place. Now when you see how destructive some of these Krasmites are. How she willingly come to Jamaica, come married a known criminal element. Because she herself is literally no better than termite. In fact, she is even what we would call a top tier gangster in a jamaican terms a termite thing lily comparing to what she a deal with in uncle sam but on the spot news media will most definitely do some more digging to seek more clarification and confirmation as it relates to lara mclaren bailey 39 years old of a Fort Lauderdale, Florida address. But anyway, back to local style. 
Now over there in the parish of St. Catherine, both the St. Catherine North and the St. Catherine South Police Division put on a decent spot of work. Three criminal elements behind bars and three firearms off the streets. Now the three men have been arrested and charged in police operations that yielded the three guns in the parish of St. Catherine in the last 24 hours. Now the first weapon, a .38 revolver loaded with five rounds of ammunition, was found in a vehicle along Brunswick Avenue in Spanish Town sometime around 9.45 p.m. last night. The police team was said to be on mobile patrol and reportedly intercepted a silver Toyota field and motor car with three men aboard. It is said that the vehicle was searched and the firearm and ammunition was found between the front passenger seat and the cup holder, the police stated. And sometime around 10 p.m., the Bagwalk police, which is still in the St. Catherine North Police Division, found an illegal Glock pistol in the Old Road community. No one was arrested in that find. Now, as for the St. Catherine South Police Division, the police seized a 9mm Glock pistol affixed with a magazine containing 15 9mm rounds of ammunition at the Dumbe Holding District around 11.30am yesterday. It is said that no one was arrested over the find, which was made during a snap raid by the Portmore police so just for clarity and added information the three men that were arrested was for the 0.38 revolver that was found in the motor vehicle along brunswick avenue yeah man now we are gonna talk about anakis and clapis from the kingston eastern police division he heals from the burger gully community we are talk about this old dirty corner boy presently on your screen identified as odaya joseph but more popularly known in the criminal underworld as day day now i'm pretty sure that the ones and ones them from burger gully already get the news but to you the regular members of chan public day day get night night meaning he is no longer among the land of the living as his daylight was cut and narrowed down into nightlight. Yeah, man. So they they gone a shot at country land, no longer among the land of the living. And all of that take place over the weekend, Saturday, the 8th of June. Now, sometime around 6 25, 6.30-ish, them time then in the morning, along Spanish Town Road, in the vicinity of the National Water Commission in a Kingston 11, right there, so. Information received by Andy Spot News Media would suggest that citizens stumbled upon his lifeless body and immediately summoned the police and upon the arrival of the police, the police saw the now deceased laying face down in the bushes with what appears to be some whole heap of can up wound to the upper body and head. It is said that the body was taken to the Kingston Public Hospital where it was confirmed. You know what? But to how the body look, it seems as if an Odessa them dirt him. Them dirt him elsewhere and got dump him body right there so. Now East Kingston, we don't know exactly where the crime scene there. We don't need to make the police them know a whole dirt day day. So officer you man pick and team can go dirt them to win-win situation. Two for one deal. Yeah man, you can't get it any better than that. But anyway my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscast. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.